So this week we're in the Old West, the real Old West, Tombstone, Arizona. I'm your huckleberry. And because it's Tombstone, we decided to get a room at the Bordello. So thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We've got lots of things going on while we're here in Tombstone before we head back up north. Uh, stick around. There may be gunfights. There may be ladies, scarlet women. There, you just never know what you're gonna see here. You're gonna get it all. So come along, let's go. So this is the lounge in the bordello. These are the original bordello steps, the stairs in the bordello. And this is the original bordello in Tombstone. These steps are tiny and they are steep. So once you get out of the Longhorn, the Long Branch, or Big Nose Kate's, or the Crystal Palace, you want to be careful coming to a room for your lady. So you can see that uh, there's not much going on. Right now it's a little after six and they pretty much roll up the sidewalks here in Tombstone about five o'clock. But we'll be back in the morning. In fact, we're gonna be down here even right now. But in the morning we'll be down here and see what's going on. We're going over there to the OK Corral. We'll see that tomorrow. So hang in there. We're going to walk down another block or so, but I think we're going to come back and have dinner here at Big Nose Kate's. That's the Crystal Palace, another infamous place here in Tombstone. It's the original Crystal Palace. Here you got the Longhorn. Say when.
that the sun was sinking low down as they came to town to face another showdown. So we're starting here today in Tombstone at Boot Hill. And then uh, we'll see if we get into a gunfight a little later on. We've got some things we know we're gonna be doing, seeing some of the uh, historic buildings that are going, that are still here. Last night we had uh, dinner in a place that the, the Earps fre frequented a lot, so did uh, Lily Langtree, and the night before the gunfight at OK Corral, the Clantons ate in there. So uh, stick around, glad you're here. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hang on, let's go see the cemetery. So these are the guys that didn't make it out of the shootout at the old K Corral, the OK Corral, and you can see that uh, a lot of people didn't like the Earps saying that Billy Clanton, Tom, and Frank McClary were murdered in the streets of Tombstone. I don't, I don't want any. No, no. You better be good. Okay.
getting ready to go into the Crystal Palace. May we just come in and look? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, how are you? Better some days than others. Okay. Well, welcome to the RL Saloon. Thank you very much. This is cool. It's a better show in here at 12 o'clock today. Show you some hear. of the historical events that actually happened right here inside the Oriental Saloon. This is the actual thing. Don't go start recording. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Prickly pear lemonade margarita. Listen, Mister, we're trying to have a nice, quiet game of cards here. We got no time for your noise. Tell you what, hit me them curtains, send me the bar. We'll find your people. Why? It was that idiot. That was Billy Claiborne. Second fastest car from that gunplay out there on Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, him and I planned Red Light Jail. Yes, he did. They were eights. How about you? I just came in here for a drink and be sociable. We got a problem. I can settle this with my pistol. Fred, I don't come to work to be exalted. I'll show you the hell don't care to be threatened. Take your nose back where the body Get your hands off me. Come what on, are you doing? Lara. <laughs> you all right, man? I'm fine. You okay? I'll make sure we did. No, everything's fine. Well, I wasn't here with Craig and Billy Matt. I was had to handle things a little differently. The famous outlaw once said, if you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. Yeah, he got more than three words up and I'd have cracked him over his head with his own six gun. Uh, what? Well, I'm sorry. I could have done more. I couldn't do no less. I got this threat that me. I don't even know it. You don't have to explain yourself to me, Frank. My father always said, Better to be judged by 12 than carry by 6. You ain't wrong, and neither was he. Yeah. How do you know about hey, this? Hey, hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got some sick customers. <laughs> hey.
ballet. A couple of things before we get started. First things first, our guns are real, and they are dangerous. So please, at no point, try to handle our weapons. Now, with all the safety talk out of the way, anybody have a cell phone with them today? Raise your hand. Go ahead, throw it up in the air for me. <laughs> This gunfight, Virgil was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the West until death caught up with him in Nevada in 1905. Not as lucky, Wyatt's kid brother Morgan shot in the back and killed many of a fool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19, 1882. For the white birthday. In 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart. A lifetime of drinking, smoking, bad decisions caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. Defend the cowboys in print. On the other side, mining officials and local businessmen backed by wealthy Eastern investors. Their spokesman was John Klum. Tombstone's Republican mayor and the editor of the Tombstone Epitaph newspaper. Businessmen's profits depended upon capturing control of Tombstone, but the Cowboys stood in their way. So Mayor Klum chose the urge to drive the Cowboys out of Tombstone. The trouble began when Cowboy Curly Bill Brocious shot and killed Marshal Fred White, a friend of the Earths. This incident was followed by a year of stagecoach robberies. Okay, folks, so that's this week's vlog. If you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. We've got uh, a completely different thing coming on next week. So I'll see you next week.